The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines a meme as an idea, behavior, style, or usage that spreads from person to person within a culture. As such, with video games being a prime source of culture for everyone besides boomers, it's unsurprising that references to memes within the games we play are plentiful, ranging from the absurd to the benign and to the downright ancient culture of the internet's earlier, perhaps less expansive origins. We're seeing memes crop up within Spongebob games and even Pokemon titles. Hell, even in games you may least expect. But we'll start with one of the more popular titles we're covering today. One character who may actually have become a general meme in and of himself is that lovable yellow, absorbent and porous Spongebob Squarepants. In the Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom remake, Rehydrated, the developers went above and beyond when it came to throwing in nods to the original show, adding in tons of extra character idol animation to reference particular episodes. These can most notably be seen in two animations which point towards moments from the show which have since become popular memes and is no doubt why the remake's developers, Purple Lamp Studios, put in these animations. One of Spongebob's idle animations references the Mocking Spongebob meme, which sees Spongebob leaning over and making a bizarre bird-like face, originating from the episode Little Yellow Book. The other can be seen with one of Patrick's idle animations, which references the Surprised Patrick meme portraying Patrick with a mouth as large as his personality, originally appearing in the 2004 SpongeBob SquarePants movie. These weren't the only additions to point towards internet meme culture, as the player is also able to come across a new drawing added to a cave area. Here, the player can find an exact replica of the Primitive Sponge meme, which became popular in 2016 between the release of the original game and its remake. It was often used to portray a sudden and intense instinctual response of shock or disgust to something unexpected. But some memes are much older than these, older than SpongeBob as a show itself, in fact. Another thing that is even older than internet memes is the band KISS. We're pretty sure they may actually be older than time itself. The band actually had their own video game called KISS Psycho Circus The Nightmare Child. The game, which is a relatively uneventful and pretty uninspired first-person shooter, doesn't have a meme within its gameplay, thank god, but this time it can be found in the game's files. Within the menu subfolder of the game is a file called psycho.res. By extracting the image data from this file, it's possible to see alternative title screens which would have been used as placeholders during development, likely just as a means for the developers to amuse themselves. These can range from simple differences, like changing the publishing company's name from Gathering of Developers to Gathering of Dumbasses, or a photograph of band member Ace shouting the game's title. But for a reference to meme culture, it's also possible to find a photo of two little people playing basketball, an extremely early meme which circulated around message boards and so-called funny image websites around the year 2000, you remember those, when the game released. They have, of course, been edited to be talking about KISS, as you would expect. Before we move on, a quick word from this episode's sponsor, Manscaped.com. Manscaped just launched their new Lawnmower 4.0 waterproof cordless trimmer, and now you can even get their new Performance Package 4.0 bundle. This is an all in one kit that has all the tools to perfect your grooming experience. The Lawnmower 4.0 has replaceable ceramic blades with skin safe technology and a built in LED light to help you trim with confidence. And after you've trimmed and showered, be sure to apply Manscaped's Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, a quick absorbing, clear drying moisturizer lotion for all day protection. Then at midday, be sure to use the Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray with cooling aloe vera and anti-inflammatory properties. Manscaped's new Performance Package 4.0 bundle also includes their new Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer. The full Performance Package 4.0 kit gets you the biggest bang for your buck and for a limited time you can get two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs. So join millions of men worldwide who trust Manscaped to give them the right tools for their family jewels. And get 20% off your Manscaped order plus free international shipping and two free gifts when you use promo code DYKG20 at manscaped.com. And now back to the video. If somebody were to ask you how many times Dragon Ball memes have been referenced since the show's inception, you would probably expect a pretty obvious answer considering the statistic is itself a meme. It's over 9,000! What 9,000?! This meme managed to crawl its way into many video games, including Street Fighter Cross Tekken, the fighting game crossover that people seem to still be waiting for a reverse of. In the scene where the meme appears, Brian asks Jack X how tough their opponents are, which he analyzes and calculates as being over 9,000. 
Now you'd be right to ask whether this reference was included in the original Japanese version of this scene, and that is why video game translator Clyde Mandolin took a look into it. It turns out that the scene plays out much the same way as the English localization, save for one difference – the actual value of the fighter's combined power level. English localizers must have read the original Japanese number, which places the power level at 8,782.55, and thought that it would just be pretty negligible and easy to add a few hundred points to their power levels, and changed them to make a quick reference to the now iconic Dragon Ball Z line. Another popular meme featured in games is the, in hindsight, incredibly annoying This Is Sparta meme from the 2006 film adaptation of 300. But thankfully the game we're talking about is at least a good one. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations. In the game's third case, when talking to Lisa Basil, a special skit may play. Lisa says, Sorry, that data is super admin restricted desktop access password protected. Maya then says, Super admin restricted desktop access password protected? What? This is madness! With Phoenix adding, No, Maya, that is Sparta. This conversation is a reference to the infamous This Is Sparta line from the movie 300, which only came out a few months before the game's North American release, but in that time managed to become an incredibly popular meme. This is Sparta! Zero Wing. We probably don't need to say much more than that at this stage, but for those who somehow are unaware, Zero Wing was a rather infamous part of gaming history as a result of the extremely broken English that wound up being used in the game's international releases. During the game's opening, the line, All your base are belong to us, is spoken by the nefarious cats. Since then, this line has perhaps become one of, if not the most widely referenced meme in internet history. As a shock to nobody, some games have included references to the line in their dialogue as well, such as Fantasy Star Universe, in which Sheena, the receptionist of the Guardians branch in Perum, will proclaim, Welcome to Gerhal, all your future are belong to us. Another title that gives a nod to Zero Wing, though not this line, is Xenoblade Chronicles. This time, one of the Alchemoth citizens will tell you to go forth and vanquish five crews pagels for great justice, with Zero Wing having also introduced for great justice to our world. And of course, Zero Wing isn't the only poorly translated video game that led to a meme. The phrase, a winner is you, was a particularly poorly written English line which originally made its debut in the NES game Pro Wrestling, before going on to transcend beyond a badly written line to become a popular meme. Famed video game localization expert Nob Ogasawara has a tendency to sneak memes into the games that he translates, and normally does so with a good sense to not sway too far from the original context. The phrase makes an appearance in Dragon Warrior 3 for the Game Boy Color, a title which he worked on. Here, an NPC will proclaim, One day, I will be a winner is me. Ogasawara is probably best known for having localized many of the earlier Pokemon titles, so it's no surprise that he would have managed to introduce a few of his favorite memes into the games. He managed to do this with Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver for the Nintendo DS, and not just once, but twice. Earl Dervish of the Pokemon Academy speaks primarily in broken English, and at one point will ask, Want to be a winner is you? This line isn't just found in the DS remake, but also the original. You might think that would be the end of the winner is you memes in Pokemon, but you would be absolutely wrong. Diamond and Pearl even included it, with the meme being found in Veilstone City. Here, the player finds a clown who provides them with a coin case, who proclaims, A winner is you! The game did make reference to another meme as well, this time to something which is truly awful. At one point in the game, an unassuming trainer will approach the player and begin to recite a speech, saying, Let us create a scene, a fantastic tableau of battle. That battle will surely become a stupendous masterpiece painting. I shall title it, My Pokemon is Fight. The man's title for his painting is actually a reference to a book, My Tank is Fight, written by a member of Something Awful, a website filled with some of the most lowbrow and below-the-belt humor which we all love, thus cementing My Tank is Fight into meme history. The reason this line was added to the game is actually the result of Ogasawara having regularly visited the Something Awful forums. We mentioned earlier how Pokemon references a meme from another game, but Pokemon itself also spawned its own popular memes, which even we are unable to lobotomize out of our memory. Hi, I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. 
This isn't exactly a line you'd expect from a youngster before they sick their level 11 ratata on you, but Pokemon's highly sophisticated use of the English language knows no bounds. This line became a massively popular quote with many players, and would even see itself being referenced in several more Pokemon games, as well as a game in another franchise. Last Window, The Secret of Cape West for the Nintendo DS, a European and Japanese exclusive sequel to Hotel Dusk, Room 215, makes a small reference to this lad's enthusiasm for his favourite clothing of choice. In the game, Kyle Hyde comes across his wardrobe, where he proclaims, I like suits, they're comfy and easy to wear. Did you also know that Professor E. Gad's name was changed to different puns in different languages, or that Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver had updates made to prevent the player from getting stuck? To find out more, check out our videos on Nintendo GameCube and Nintendo DS Trivia. What's, uh, what's your favourite meme? I'm going to recite mine now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. La 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 la.